Inhalers are vital in the management of asthma. Unfortunately, a lot of patients still use them incorrectly. Today, I'm going to be showing you the proper way to use an inhaler. But before we begin, just take a moment to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hello, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dr. Mariam. I'm a junior doctor. I make medical videos to help junior doctors navigate easily through the medical system and I make health videos for the general public. Today we're going to learn how to use an inhaler the correct way. We'll also be looking at some pre and post use practices as well as some myths. There are generally two types of inhalers, preventers and rescuers. Preventers are usually inhaled steroids taken daily. They work to reduce the inflammation in the lungs or airway, thereby preventing asthma attacks. While rescuers are usually taken during an attack, they work to open the airways, thereby relieving symptoms. Some inhalers contain a mixture of both preventers and rescuers. You might be on one type of inhaler or both, depending on the level of your asthma control. That decision will be entirely made by your doctor. Inhalers come in different colors, shapes, and sizes, but they're all generally used the same way. Today, we'll be demonstrating using a Ventolin inhaler, which is a type of rescuer inhaler. So before using any inhaler, there are generally steps that need to be taken. Step one is to check for the expiration date, and that's usually found at the top of the inhaler. If your inhaler contains number of puffs, it's usually advised to check the number to make sure there are still puffs or doses left within the inhaler. This inhaler doesn't contain that, so we're going to skip that step. Step two is to remove the lid of the inhaler, and step three is to shake the inhaler very well. This step is very important in order to mix the drug with the propellant. If you're using the inhaler for the first time or it's been a long time since you used it, you will need to prime your inhaler. Different inhalers are primed differently and the instructions are usually found in the box. So it's usually advised for you to check your instructions. This inhaler is primed by puffing twice if it's new or if it's been five days since the last use. So the technique of all inhalers are generally the same. So step one is to sit upright Step two is to empty the lungs, that is inhale and exhale completely. Step three is to position the inhaler in your hand. So how you position the inhaler is you put the thumb below the base and then the index finger on top like this. Step four is to make an airtight seal by wrapping your lips around the mouthpiece so that the drug doesn't escape when you puff. Step five is to start breathing in slowly after your lips are wrapped around the mouthpiece. The trick is to puff immediately after you start breathing in. Step six is to hold your breath for 10 seconds after you've puffed. When it comes to inhaler technique, the most important thing to know is to inhale, not swallow. I will now demonstrate. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? If you need to repeat the dose, wait 30 seconds and repeat the steps all over again. For this inhaler specifically, the dose is two puffs per use. After using your inhaler, don't forget to cap it as this will prevent dust from entering it. The second thing you'd need to do is if you're using an inhaler that contains steroids like Polmicort, you would need to rinse your mouth after use as failing to do so can increase your risk of having oral thrush or oral candidiasis. One of the myths about inhalers which prevents patients from using them is the belief that it can cause dependence or addiction, which is entirely not true. The second myth is that inhalers are not as effective as oral medication. That's also not true because inhalers work in the lungs and the fastest way to the lungs is through inhalation. It's important to know that inhalers continue to be the first line in the management of asthma as oral medications contain higher doses and can lead to more side effects. Lastly, patients tend to believe that inhalers are only for people with severe asthma, which isn't true. Like I mentioned before, there are different types of inhalers. We have preventers, we have rescuers. What type of inhaler you will be on will be entirely dependent on your level of asthma control. Both people with controlled asthma and people with uncontrolled asthma will need inhalers in their asthma management. The type of inhaler that they will use will be determined by their doctor. 
now that you've learned how to use an inhaler the proper way, you're not only equipped to take charge of your asthma, but also equipped to lead other people as well. We've reached the end of our video. If you liked this tutorial, please leave me a like and drop a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.